Children of today are immersed in various technologies, from video games to cell phones. But put a pencil in their hands and ask them to write a story, most of them will moan and groan. Blogging is a way to get students writing using the technology they love so much. Students are able to write in an informal manner while stretching their creative muscles and interacting in cyberspace. My action research project uses blogging to improve the writing of my third graders. The goal is also to improve their attitudes towards writing, so I created a Weebly website for our class with my own blog that I update once a week. We have a class blog that is used to discuss various topics and where students can share their opinions. Each of my students also has their own blog that is updated two or three times a month. They are given prompts to blog about, often related to something we're working on in class. My students and their families are able to access these blogs from home and are encouraged to comment on each other's blog postings. At the end of the first research cycle, my students' attitudes towards blogging couldn't be better. Even my most reluctant writers are eager to visit the computer lab. Many of them enjoy visiting the blogs of their classmates and even leave a thoughtful comment. Early on in cycle one, I discovered that many of my third graders were natural writers, however reluctant they may be to pick up a pencil and paper. I think that this has helped things run more smoothly. Cycle one went rather well. There was a definite learning curve, but once my students were comfortable using the Weebly platform, they became more independent, and those that are still struggling receive help from their classmates. The biggest obstacles I'm running into are a lack of available computer lab time and the fact that about half of my students and their families do not seem to access the site from home. Cycle 2 is wrapping up and my students are already more enthusiastic when I tell them it's writing time. We are increasingly limited by the school computer lab schedule as more and more time is blocked out by other teachers. To remedy this, I'm trying to have my students blog from our three classroom computers. Although it takes all week to get through all 18 students, so far things are working out well.